start us off, JV football had a rough season, going 2-7 and seven on the season. Although they did not win many games, they got a lot better throughout the season. Varsity had a really good season this year, going 7-3 and three overall and 7-1 and one in the regular season. Varsity beat both their rivals, Quinton and Hudson, with the Hudson game being won in double overtime. They try to get this one in. Gallo throws that one, and it's caught! Touchdown, Maynard, and they win the game! As the field is stormed by both fans and the Maynard staff. Wow, what an ending here at Alumni Field as the Maynard Ansa Tigers will come out with this one over the Hudson Hawks in the third set of overtime. Varsity was also the Midwatch City League champions this year. Varsity has one more game on Thanksgiving that will be played in West Boylston. Welcome back everyone, Lucas Lane is here and I'm bringing you the fall soccer update. Our boys varsity soccer team had a solid season with 12 wins, 6 losses and 3 ties. They won their first two playoff games at home, beat Neighborhood House 2-1 and beat St. John Paul II 2-1 as well. However, we suffered a loss in the round of 8 to Boston International 3-0. Overall, it was a very successful year and we will indeed go further next year. Similar to the boys, the girls team also enjoyed a great season with a record of 11 wins, 6 loses and 2 ties. We'll be West Boys in our first playoff game 4-2 with a goal scored by Neff Duplessis, Nina Chiodo, Riley Green and Bree Genta. Yet in a disappointing home game against Hopedale, we lost 2-0. I can't wait to see the girls team play again next year and go Tigers! Hello and welcome back. I'm Rachel and this is your Maynard Field Hockey Update. The Maynard Field Hockey team had an amazing season, one of their best, with 10 wins, 6 losses, and 2 ties. They made it to playoffs this year but sadly lost against Lunenburg with a final score of 7-1. The girls had a great season and are sad to say goodbye to their seniors and captains. Captains this year were Elizabeth Ulrich, Mackenzie Thomas, and Steph Benangas. Good season girls, cannot wait for the next season. The golf team won a phenomenal 9-3 in the year. They also placed second at regionals, coming up just short. They also made sectionals with their great record and placed ninth at sectionals. Overall, the golf team had a great year. The boys' cross-country team had an overall record of 5-2 and, and went 5-1 and in league races. They placed third in the league meet and ninth in the Division 3C championship, and Connor Nasita qualified for the Division 3 state championship race. The girls' cross-country team went 2-5, and five, and went 2-4 and four in league races. The girls placed 6th in the league meet, although multiple girls were sick and were unable to run. They placed 16th in the Division 3C Championship, and Natalie Champion placed 44th out of 173 girls at the Divisional Championship. 